Okay, welcome to another show me. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the placenta. And it's really nice actually to be able to draw a diagram to be able to explain the interface between the mother and her baby. But the problem with that is that I'm not very good at drawing. So that's, that's a stumbling block here, but we're gonna have a go. So first of all, I'm gonna draw the umbilical cord joining the placenta, nice and big. Just gonna go a little bit like that. And the layer here, that is the amnion. And what we need to do is we need to draw on the chorionic plate. And in order to do that, we need to come all the way down here to a structure known as the decidua basalis and complete that. Now we can draw on the chorionic plate by drawing a line around here and we can draw the interface between mother and baby by putting on some of these placental septa, which are these sort of projections up from the mother, which contain blood vessels and uh, increase surface area. So we put a few of those on as well. So we've got our amnion at the top. This is our umbilical cord in here, and we will put on the vessels inside in a moment. The bottom here, in there, we have got what's known as the decidua basalis. So we'll put that on as well. Now coming down from our coronic plate, which is this area in here, so this area all in here, part of the chorionic plate what we need to do is we need to make space for some of those main stem villus to, to actually come through so we'll create a few spaces here for them to project into the uh, into the space that's really going to become the intervillus space which is the area between the mother and the baby for exchange of nutrients and oxygen etc. These my drawing isn't particularly good here but this is supposed to be a villus. Uh, probably don't look quite like they should in the textbooks but you get the idea. So that's my villus and now we can start to pop on the arteries and also the veins and, and, and let this placenta take a little bit of shape. So first of all we're going to have single vein, remember I'm drawing the umbilical vein in red because the umbilical vein is the supply of oxygenated blood and nutrients traveling from the decidua basalis, the area of the uh, mother, so the interface in the placenta which belongs to mum and that is going in this direction so we need to just draw on an arrow to point the direction that's going on so we're going to have one of those and this umbilical vein comes from the chorionic plate. So where I'm now drawing the vein is the chorionic plate. So that's this area in here. So in here we have chorionic plate. I'm just going to abbreviate to CP. And there's one on the other side as well, chorionic plate. And these Blood vessels, of course, are going to dive into, oops, wrong colour, need to get rid of that, go back to red. They go into here, like this, and of course there would be more of these. Like that. And these main stem villus are lined, and one of these I'm just going to draw a thickened edge around here, like these, these cells, which is, this is our trophoblast, if you remember coming up before, so I labelled that as a T, so you know what the trophoblast is, you remember that from the moila and the blastocyst, and the trophoblast is this layer on the outside. It's the syncytio trophoblasts, which are actually on the inside in here. I think sometimes pronounced syncytio trophoblast. So we're just going to put S T 
CCB for syntheticio trichoblasts and not really evident or something that I can draw on particularly well on this diagram but actually very close to the lining of the actual blood vessels themselves and just kind of dotted along here and I just do it in this pale colour dotted along in here around these uh, these blood vessels these established veins that will eventually travel in the umbilical cord are the cytotrophoblasts so that would be there so there's actually three layers so let's just clarify that so I've got CTB so from going from the outside of this placental villus we have the trophoblast lining the outside of the villus the next layer or the stroma that sort of takes up the majority of the villus is the syncytio trophoblasts and in the cytotrophoblasts which I've drawn as these kind of orange dots they represent the innermost lining of the, of the blood vessels there as well so these are actually called so one of these this is the most highly developed part of the exchange between mother and baby and this is called a tertiary uh, villus so we put that on there and these are all tertiary villi and we do get primary and secondary villi but they're all stages to becoming tertiary villi so when the placenta is as fully formed as it can be the tertiary villus is the most established interface with a proper blood supply occupying these uh, these small tree-like structures that penetrate into this middle space where maternal blood will eventually flow and we will draw on the intervillous space so the intervillous space all these areas in here where I'm drawing the X's that's all intervillous space just to show you where that is I'll get rid of those now and what we'll do next is so I've got rid of these just draw on the blood supply from the mother's side so what we need to do now we need to go down to the decidua basalis which is the mother's part the developed part of her uterus that's now fully formed into a placental interface and we need to just make some spaces here for some of these blood vessels to come from mum and so we're going to get some vessels that are going to kind of go like this. So some indentations into the decidua. And we're going to get these blood supply coming from mum. And these are known as the endometrial arteries and veins. There'll be some veins in there as well. Draw on the veins and these feed into the intervillous space these are endometrial arteries sometimes they're also known as spiral arteries because of the way they spiral into the intervillous space okay so now we've drawn on some blue representing some of the veins of mum and we can see how blood would occupy the intervillous space. We now need to draw on the two umbilical arteries which would be inside the umbilical cord and these kind of wrap around, I said my drawing wasn't very good and I didn't lie, these kind of wrap around the umbilical vein a bit like this and of course this is where we get The umbilical arteries which let's just label this in blue umbilical artery this is two of those from the baby which are returning nutrient deficient blood and oxygen deficient blood to mum and they occupy the villus in the same way as we saw the umbilical vein occupying these tertiary villi so we can pop those on as well so hopefully that helps you understand the placenta a little bit more let's just finish by just labeling these areas so we have 
a section down here, which is mainly, this is the maternal section, I guess. We also have a middle section in here, which is kind of the interface that's kind of occupied by both the fetal and maternal sections, so that's middle. And then up here with the chorionic plate, we have the fetal section there, okay? So hopefully that will give you a very sort of brief outline of the structures of the placenta and how the different parts, both the fetal and the maternal parts, come together for exchange of nutrients and oxygen. Okay.